Just before 12.30, welcome back to Central Valley Talk and Central Valley Business. I'm Austin Reed. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday. It is March the 18th, 2021. I can't believe March is wrapping up. It'll be gone sooner rather than later. Spring arrives on Saturday. We're excited for that. You're watching us live right now on YouTube TV, Facebook, Instagram, and of course our home, centralvalleytalk.com. I am Austin Reed. Hit me up on Facebook, Austin Reed on air. Also on Instagram and Twitter. We've got another live local guest standing by. Give it up for Bethany Chavez with Bethany Birth Services here in Fresno. Good afternoon. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. So tell us about Bethany Birth Services. So Bethany Birth Services is my company. I started this company, a very small business. It's just me. And I provide doula support and placenta encapsulation support to most of Central California. So I work with families of all ages, first time parents, second, third, fourth time parents. I go to the hospitals and I provide doula support. So doula support is um something that actually is very it's a native and indigenous resource and it's been passed down from generations and it's basically support during someone's time in their life when they're pregnant mm -hmm. uh, so prenatal support labor and birth support and even postpartum support as well you know that is absolutely critical my wife after you know she gave birth to twins almost five years ago, you know, the postpartum depression really set in. It was tough. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a lot of moms come to me with that question. Um, they want to try placenta encapsulation because they had it maybe the first time around and they're hoping for like a different postpartum experience. So they'll either hire a doula, they'll try their placenta capsules, it, and that's when I take the placenta and I put it into capsules for the birth, the birth person going through postpartum to consume it. Mm. And it helps them with um, hormone balance. It helps them with postpartum depression and anxiety, baby blue symptoms, replenishing iron levels, um, just all these great benefits, which is also, again, a cultural practice that we're bringing it back. And it's kind of something that's always been here. But now people are more interested in it because they see the benefits. You know, and I think a lot of the expectations for a brand new mom is overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people usually like chat in their ears and say all these different expectations of, oh, you should do this or you should do this. But um, especially for first time parents and every birth, every labor and postpartum different is different every time. So um, they hope that every time they get that support that they might not be able to get from other people who just may not ex um, understand what they need, you know, prenatally. And even sometimes medical providers can't provide that for them. So they go looking for someone who can just be an emotional support, a physical support, educational support. We prep them for labor and for their birth. And then even postpartum, we do home visits with them. Um, and then we just come into their home and we help them around the house, you know, like which parent wouldn't want that after they just had a baby. Yeah. D do you have kids? I don't, I don't have kids and you don't have to be a doula to, um, you don't have to have kids to be a doula. Mm -hmm. Um, usually what we see around the world in a lot of different indigenous and native cultures is that these girls are being brought up in this birth world, mm. um, since the time that they're super young. So honestly, you don't even have to have a training and certification to be a doula, mm -hmm. but obviously in today's modern world, that would be nice. So here, of course, in the US and, um, and in a lot of other developed places, doula support comes from trainings and what it, all it is is knowledge being passed down from person to person. Um, and that's really how we provide a village to help these parents um, care for themselves and for their babies. Talk a little bit about the process in more detail. Uh, so the process, about which one? Placenta encapsulation or doula support? Uh, I, I want to hear more about the uh, placenta. Okay. So placenta encapsulation, um, that's when 
a, a mom or even sometimes the dads or whichever partner calls me and says, hey, I am interested in encapsulating my placenta. I've heard really good benefits, usually online or from other people. Um, so what does that look like is I come in and I pick up your placenta from wherever you're birthing. It could be a home birth, which is not too popular here in uh, the Central Valley, mm -hmm. but there is some options uh, or from the hospital usually. And I take that back and I encapsulate it. So the first day would look like cleaning out the placenta, um, maybe making a cord keepsake with the umbilical cord. A lot of people like that. Mm -hmm. um, they usually put in their scrapbooks to keep and save. Sure. Other people want different add-ons like a placenta print, which is when we literally put a print of the placenta on like a canvas paper and you can uh, hang it up. You can keep it as a keepsake. Um, there's other options like smoothies. I know it sounds really weird, but uh, you'd be surprised. People have said it tastes really good. And mm. yeah, I even do tinctures and balms. And what I do with the placenta to put it into capsules is I either put it in the steam pot or I put it straight into the dehydrator um, okay. and it skips the steaming process. It depends on what that person feels comfortable with. And then on day two, I take it, I maybe put some herbs, herbs in it. Um, uh, the herbs are really popular as well because it helps to give that boost postpartum. Mm -hmm. And then I put it, blend it, and then I put it into capsules and I deliver it back to my clients. And then the benefits, I mean, you, you, you kind of touched on it, but, um, you know, I think for, for, you know, women, um, or, or men, I mean, you know, mothers and fathers that are a little weary, uh, why is it so beneficial? Yes, and I can understand because some people, they think when they think eating your placenta, they think of the actual like placenta, how it looks like when it came out, but mm -hmm. what the end result are in capsule sizes for you to take just like supplements. And um, I have flavored capsules. So flavored capsules are, are optional. I have strawberry, orange, grape, and I even have a vegan and vegetarian option mm -hmm. for people who don't mind that. Um, and the benefits... Again, they help to reduce baby blue symptoms, postpartum and depression symptoms. It helps to replenish iron levels. It helps to increase lactation supply for people who are wanting to lactate for their babies. Um, it has so many great benefits. Uh, people have even said that they feel more energized, like it's an energy boost because what you're doing mm. is you're putting those vitamins, stem cells back into your body. Right, right, which get released. <laughs> right. Right. So, and it helps people give that boost. Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. Uh, we've got about a minute left. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Anything that I missed? Yeah, I just wanted to touch base on the, um, the doula support benefits. So sure. having a doula, you can have a doula when you're pregnant um, and then pre preparing for labor and birth and then even postpartum. And so I just wanted to people to know that the benefits um, of having a doula is reduced risk of cesarean births, reduced risk of medical interventions. Um, you get some emotional, physical, and educational support. We help make a birth plan for you and postpartum. We come in, we cook for you, we clean for mm. you, we advocate for you, we teach you what consent is during birth. So all of these things are very important these days because we're seeing this in the uh, developed in this developed country of the USA, there's moms who are dying in childbirth. And so having a doula to advocate for you is really important. So I just wanted people to know that. All right. Very good. Uh, do you want to talk real quick about the pricing and what kind of options, uh, you know, uh, folks have? Yeah. Uh, there's daytime and overnight postpartum support. Uh, that's from 20 to $25 an hour. Okay. Um, you can hire, all the details are like in the contract, all consultations are free. And then I do also offer birth support, labor and birth support, mm. even virtually, nice. uh, which during right now COVID is, has turned into a thing mm -hmm. uh, and it works for some people. And then there's even the placenta encapsulation is 250 uh, that, that's not bad at all. Um, yeah. so Bethany birth services.com. What's your phone number? Phone number is 559-365-6659. All right. Very good. Uh, interesting conversation. Uh, a lot of that stuff I never even th would have thought. So, so yes. thanks for enlightening our viewers today. Thank you for having me. All right. You're watching Central Valley Talk. We're back with another live local guest coming up shortly. Stay with us.